What's up guys, welcome back to Soft Knowledge Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone 2 releasing a new map. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Call of Duty Warzone 2 is releasing a new map and I will be doing an FPS boost guide for Warzone's latest map in general for a Warzone FPS boost guide video. I will be doing one of those, don't worry. Just make sure to subscribe if you're new here. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below. And ladies and gentlemen, we are in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and a lot of people are experiencing bad gameplay experience. I'm talking about FPS loss, stuttering the game, packet loss, packet burst, all this kind of beautiful bullshit. So today I'm going to show you what you can do inside this game, just in general, in the game itself, to make your game run even better than what it's already running. Now, if you want to see an in-depth video, it's on my main uh, page for my YouTube the latest video that I posted for Modern Warfare 3. It is a very in-depth video. Now today I'm just going to go over every single setting that you can be using inside this game to get in a competitive advantage and have a smoother gameplay experience. Now the first thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do is go over here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in the display tab right now, and a lot of people are using different types of display modes at this very moment. Now, I'm going to point something out, just hear me out. A lot of people that I know personally, friends of mine, that is, you know, just brand new to PCs and stuff like that, and they got really old rigs, and I mean like 2 gig graphics cards and stuff like that. Now, I always tell them, look, if you want to like really play this game, and you got like a really you know, old end graphics card or, you know, budget graphics card, a budget CPU and a budget machine in general. A lot of people in, and friends of mine in general are playing this game in windowed mode and they're getting it right to play the game where it's doing like 60 FPS, maybe 62 as max, but it's playable, okay? So I'm not saying you shouldn't be using this, okay? But what I do recommend is if you have a medium end machine to high end to a nuclear fucking launching missile machine, that, that's just very expensive in general. I highly recommend you go with full screen borderless if you have multiple screens like me, or you go to full screen exclusive. Now, full screen exclusive will give you less latency and less input lag. Now, this is for people out there that has one monitor, one screen, one display. Then I would recommend you select this. Now, I'm going to get comments saying, yo, dude, I put this at full screen exclusive with my multiple screens and it still works. If it still works for you, then go ahead and do that. If it still works for you. But these two are the best that you can use right now at this very moment, okay? Now, if you have a lower end machine, I would recommend going to windowed or you can go to full screen extended window. And this could benefit you if you have a low end machine. I highly recommend changing to these and testing it out yourself. You physically need to test it to see if it works for your specific machine, especially if you're struggling with this game and you know your hardware can't really handle the game that well, then I highly recommend you go with windowed or this one over here. If your machine runs it perfectly fine, you go with either of these two over here. All right, let's jump over the next step. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so display gamma is something I just want to explain is this over here. A lot of people don't understand that this here, this option 2.4 is for people that's playing this game on a TV. That's why it's there, literally. It does the sRGB differently to what it does for a monitor over here, right? So if you're running a monitor or a display, like a laptop or whatever the case might be, go with 2.2. Do not go with 2.4. I play my game on a TV, so this is why I have mine at 2.4, okay? This is why I have this like this. Right now, at this very moment, I have this one off, and I have this one on plus boost. It runs the game perfectly fine. Now, obviously, we're not going to know what's going to be happening when they release the new map for Warzone. A lot of people don't understand when I make a video dedicated to Modern Warfare 3, they ask me questions, will this work for Warzone? I will obviously be making a video for Warzone. Then just watch that and apply those settings if you're only playing Warzone or if you're only playing Modern Warfare 3. Don't get them confused. Don't be like watching my Modern Warfare 3 video and thinking that it's going to work perfectly fine for Warzone. Warzone is completely different. Warzone is a battle royale. It's kind of open because you jump out of the plane and you land all over the place. And there's so many players in the game. When you play Modern Warfare 3, it's a small map and there's a little bit of people playing on the game itself and there's a little bit of things that needs to be rendered in. When you play Warzone, a lot of things needs to be rendered in. Your CPU works harder, your GPU works harder, your RAM works harder to render in trees, multiple players, the terrain, everything. A lot of people don't understand that, okay? So don't worry, I got you guys covered, like I said, got you covered. I will be making a Warzone video when the new map gets released. Don't worry, I will be doing that. Eco mode, this one of here, I highly recommend you just put this on custom. Please, please, for the love of fuck, don't put this on any of these. 
don't do that. It's just going to cap your FPS and you don't want it to do that. Just unlimit your FPS completely. Just go ahead and do that. VSync for gameplay. If you're getting screen tearing in your game, then turn this on and it will cap your FPS to the refresh rate of your screen. So if it is 60, 120, 144, you know, all the way up to like 280, you know, or 240, whatever the case might be. I mean, there's a lot of monitors out there that's fucking amazing and they're very expensive and people are playing on expensive screens and stuff like that. If you're getting screen tearing and your game physically does that over there, right? It doesn't do, this is perfect. That's screen tearing. If your game does that while you are playing your game, okay? Turn it on. Turn it on so it can cap your refresh rate to your monitor, all right? This one over here, you don't really need to turn on, but if it's getting screen tearing in the menus, yeah, then I highly recommend you go ahead and turn this on as well. This one over here, I put this on unlimited, and yes, I know a lot of people are going to comment down below saying like, yo, dude, why don't you have this lower and this lower and that lower and this lower? I don't do that. The reason why I don't do that because I've never done it in any of my other games, and my machine just didn't all of a sudden just blow up because I'm using all the resources that I can for my GPU. So this is your own personal preference. If you want to drop things down over here in the menus and stuff like that, go ahead and do that. It's your own personal preference, but I have mine on unlimited and I leave it there, okay? My focus mode, I have a 90. This isn't something that you really need to play around with. You really don't have to play around with this at all. You really don't. Just apply the settings that I just showed you now. Apply it to your specific rig that you are running. You know what you are running. Apply the settings accordingly. All right, let's jump straight into the quality tab. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in the quality tab right now. And at this very moment, I'm running the Intel upscaling and ultra quality over here and then 90% on the video memory scale. Now, this is how I run my game. Now, this is for my specific rig and it runs perfectly fine on my rig. It might not run perfectly on your rig. So I'm going to show you what you can use to make it run better on your specific rig that you are running. Now, I'm running a 9700K and an RTX 2060 OC and 16 gigs of RAM. Yes, I know it's not the best of machines out there, but it runs the game perfectly fine on this upscale scaling and in general on every single upscaling except this one because this one just wants to make me puke but anyways so let's jump over these over here if you want your game to look like a triple a title game and you can get away with running this upscaling over here and your game runs perfectly fine i highly recommend using this upscaling over here the game looks like a triple a title game and it looks really good everything in the game looks good your character your guns the quality of the gameplay the rendering everything looks really really good on this upscaling now, this is for people out there that has at least a decent enough machine to play this game perfectly fine. Now, a lot of my friends out there run this game on different types of settings. Everyone runs this on different types of settings. Now, I'm going to go over this. Over here, we got NVIDIA DLSS. A lot of people do use NVIDIA DLSS, and I highly recommend if you are using it, either use this at balanced or at quality. Do not put it at performance. Do not put it at ultra performance. Your game's going to look like absolute dog shit, and you don't want that. Your NVIDIA DLSS sharpening is your own personal preference. Go ahead and play around with it and find your sweet spot if you're using NVIDIA DLSS. Please put this at 90%. What it will do is it will just try and use all the resources of your GPU as much as it can to give you the best quality out of the upscaling that you specifically chose and applied to your game all right now a lot of people do use nvidia image scaling because this also makes the game look like a triple a title game but you're going to need to do this ultra quality 5 90 over here and on if you have it like this the game also looks like a triple a title game and i highly recommend if you do not want to use this upscaling or it doesn't work for you, go with NVIDIA Image Scaling, go via to Ultra Quality, 5, 90% and on. This will work perfectly fine for people out there that wants the best quality out of the game and they got decent machines. Now, if you're running anything lower than what you know, you know your machine can't run games that well, or even this game that well, then go with AMD FSR 1.0, go to Quality, you can even go to balance, but I don't really recommend this. Please just take this with a grain of salt. I don't really recommend balance because what it will do is it will make your game look a little bit worse. But if you don't really care about how the game looks, then you go with balance. It will give you a more of a performance boost when you're on AMD FSR 1.0. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, this works for NVIDIA graphics cards as well. Just because it says AMD does not mean you need an AMD graphics card. You can go with quality or ultra quality or balance. It's your own personal preference. Try them out, but I do recommend quality over here. And then you're going to change this to 65% and press enter. Leave it like this and have this turned 
off now that you're using AMD FSR, okay? Turn it off. Now, if you're running a machine, like I said, where it struggles to get the FPS that you are trying to get, then go with AMD FSR 1.0 quality 65 off all, go with AMD FSR 2.1 still 65 over here and then this will automatically be turned off so it overwrites it all right so you're going to try this out and then obviously have this at quality as well please do not put this at performance or stuff like that it's going to make your game look like dog shit and you don't want that now a lot of people do also use fidelity fx cache a lot of people run this game perfectly fine on fidelity fx cache if you are running this game on fidelity fx cache right now at this very moment i highly recommend then just do this as well Run your game on Fidelity of Cache, put your strength at your personal preference, then change this to 80% like this. Have 10% less on the VRAM scale, okay? That 10% that it's not using actually helps Fidelity FX Cache run a little bit better. I've tried this multiple times to see if this actually is a thing. You can test it yourself if you want to, but that's why you're watching my video. So you do not have to do all these things. I'm doing it for you. You're just watching my video. So ladies and gentlemen, if this actually worked for you, make sure to smash that like button and watch this entire video and follow my guidelines and you should be good to go with this game and it will run perfectly fine on your machine. And yes, like I said, Make sure to subscribe if you're new here. I will be doing a Warzone FPS Boost Guide as soon as the new map gets released. Because I know every time Call of Duty does an update with a new map or just in general an update, they fuck up their game. It's a common known thing. Most of my subscribers, most of my viewers in general know that that's a thing and it will always probably be a thing. That Call of Duty, every time they do an update, they fuck up their game. That's just unfortunate. That's just Call of Duty for you. Fuck it. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, please, one thing I do not recommend, um, but people do get away with it as well, is putting this off. A lot of people do actually play this off, but it's a very small handful of people that turn this the fuck off. And then they run their game perfectly fine. So I do recommend using the upscaling in general. I have this, I run ultra quality, and I run this at 90%. This is how I run my settings. I'm just going to confirm this. This is how I run my settings for my specific rig. All right, let's go over the next steps. Now, something I just want to point out is this. The details and textures, when you change your upscaling, you need to start changing the things in the textures and your details as well. Because if you start changing, for instance, this, let's just say you're running this, right? And you have this at low. Your game's not going to look as crystal clear as it should look when you're running that and you're running it at normal. So if you are running... AMD FSR 1.0, let's make an example, right? And you're running this at, let's say, 65 again. You have this off, or you have it on, right? You have this on. This, I highly recommend then putting it to low if you want to get more FPS out of your game. It actually does work, and your game won't look like dog shit. It will still look perfectly fine, playable, and if you don't care about jagged edges and stuff like that, then do this. It will increase your FPS by a lot and your game will run much, much smoother with an older generation machine. There's a lot of people out there that can't afford newer components, okay? I mean, I was going to buy me newer components like now. Like basically, I would have had new co newer components now already, but I bought myself a new car. So my life's more important than playing a fucking video game, to be honest with you. But it's our escape code. It's literally our escape. It's how we escape reality. And it's why we play games. It's to get so much shit away from us. You know, everyone, I don't want to deep dive down this fucking rabbit hole of why we play games. I'm not going to, I'm not here to, to preach. Honestly, I'm fucking not here to preach. But we all know why we play our games. Anyways, so AMD FSR 1.0, 65 on low. Okay. Now this needs to be low as well when you have this at this. Okay. These two, AMD FSR 1.0 and 2.1. Please have this at low. It makes the game run much, much better. It really does, okay? Now, when you use NVIDIA Image Scaling or Intel's Upscaling or Fidelity FX Cache, okay? This over here, text of filter anastropic at low. Depth of field off. It's your own personal preference yet again with this one, but I wouldn't play with depth of field in a multiplayer fucking game. Things are blurring on the left and right inside of your screen while you aim down sight. You don't want it to do that because you're not going to see an enemy on your right and left hand side, and then you're going to get killed and you're going to get frustrated, all right? So turn it the fuck off and just leave it the fuck off, all right? Detail, quality, level. 
Turn it off. You don't need it. You do not need it. If you are struggling with FPS, why turn this on? Okay? Don't turn it on. It's an FPS hogger. Right? Particle resolution, I put this at very low. Bullet impacts, I put this on. Just in general, it does not affect your FPS in general or your CPU or your GPU or whatever. It literally says GPU, CPU low. So it doesn't impact it a lot. So put it on. All right? This one over here, the effects, I highly recommend you go ahead and turn it off. Shader quality, low. On demand texture streaming, off. Local texture streaming quality is something I just want to go over. Now, a lot of people can take advantage of this option over here. Where you turn this to normal, you'll obviously see it starts eating more VRAM, but then you're going to need a decent enough machine to run this, okay? Now, I tested this out myself. The game actually looks a slight bit better and runs a slight bit better. With my specific rig, it might not do it with yours. I, I don't know who's it. Who, like, with what machine it's going to run perfectly fine because this game's so fucked. Anyways, if you run this at normal, it actually makes the game run a slight bit better. Better. It literally says choose the streaming quality of the distance zones for large maps. Now, obviously, this is for larger maps, so this will obviously work also for war zone and stuff like that. But if you are running a low end machine, go with low over here. It will eat less VRAM, and your game will run still perfectly fine. So it's it's debatable on what you do over here, with what type of machine you are running. Okay. Shadow and lighting plays a very, 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 very big role in this game. Just turn everything low and off. That's all you need to do. You do not need shadow and lighting in this game. Unless you've got, like I said, a really good machine and it can run this game perfectly fine, then go ahead and play around with these settings and change what you want like to change and that it doesn't hog your FPS. But for now, low, low, off, off, and low. Just turn it off and low. You do not need them, right? This one of here, tessellation, off, Terrain memory, max volumetric quality, low. Physics quality, low. Weather grid volumes, turn it the fuck off, turn it the fuck off, turn it the fuck off, and done. Right. Water quality, turn it the fuck off, turn it the fuck off, turn it the fuck off, and done. You do not need these two things. You don't need it in this game. I honestly don't know why these two are still a feature in the fucking game. Like, honestly. The, there's so little bit of people that have machines that's like you know, worth a house or worth a car's money. Like, there's a handful of people. It's less than a handful of people. So, most majority of people, that basically like 98% of the community that's playing this game do not have the best of components. They're not running 4090s and stuff like that or the best AMD graphics card or the best CPUs, you know. So, turn this the fuck off. You do not need them. You're going to apply these settings and then just say confirm. Now, obviously, mine's confirming but it's keeping this. I want this to be back where it was. So I'm going to apply that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight over to the view tab. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in the view tab right now. And this is my own personal preference. You can go over here and change this to your own personal preference as well. You can copy my settings if you want to or not. It's your own personal preference. I just wanted to show you what I'm running. Just in general, this is what I'm running over here. This is your own personal preference. Let's go over something that is important. Interface, you're going to come inside here and you're going to come to color customization. Come here, go to custom and make sure that you have your color on your own personal preference, your team and your party at the same color. Please go ahead and do that. Your enemy, I have minus magenta pink. You can actually apply custom colors inside here to your own personal preference and what you want. I have minus magenta pink and I have mine like this because nothing in this game is really pink, okay? And pink stands out a lot. It really does. It's an unnatural color in the game, basically, because nothing's fucking pink in the game. It's mostly green or mostly brown, the buildings and stuff like that, the grass and stuff like that. You, I mean, I, I don't see a pink tree, you know? You get what I'm saying, right? I don't need to, like, dumb this down. You people are quite clued up when it comes to these things in any way. So just turn it to a color that does that obviously stands out, that doesn't fit in with the game. So you'll see... An enemy easier, you'll see if they're capturing a point or, you know, they're doing something, you'll see that it goes pink. And your natural reaction will be, oh my god, there's an enemy. Cool. Do this. Please go ahead and do this. All right. From here, you're going to come over here, scroll all the way down to the bottom. All right. Menu prompts, automatic. Tooltips, your own personal preference. Skip introduction movie, on. Game tips, you can have it on or off, own personal preference. All right. These two please put them on because this can actually tell you if you're having latency issues or you know just the alerts in general people are like finding that 
they think they're getting stuttering or that it's their internet connection. Meanwhile, it's their game not running correctly because of their components. So turn these on. If you get any of those notifications, right, it means that the game is physically doing something over here, like packet burst, packet loss, all these things. It literally tells you what they are, okay? Now, this one over here also tells you what they are. Now, if you have them on and none of these come up, and your game is stuttering or feels like it's stuttering, then obviously start changing settings in your game, like upscaling and lowering your settings will make your game run better because then none of these are affecting your machine. It's your machine's settings, in-game quality settings. That's why that's happening. It feels like the game's stuttering or it feels like the game's like, you know, breaking. Then it's not one of these. It's not any of these. It's your actual settings in the game when it comes to the quality tab. Right, this is something I just want to point out there to you, ladies and gentlemen, and it plays a very big role in this game. Now, something I want to mention is this over here, and this is the most important step that you're going to need to do after applying all of these settings to your personal preference for your specific machine, you're going to need to come over here. Ladies and gentlemen, so this is the most important step that you're going to need to do after applying all the settings I just showed you and all the settings to apply to your specific rig. Once you applied all those settings, don't just jump into a game. The settings has not applied into your game. It has not applied, okay? The only way this is going to apply to your specific rig that you're running and you just changed a couple of settings and now you want to go test it out. The only way for you to test this is by clicking on restart shader preloading Click on restart, quit your entire game out of Steam or on Battle.net, whatever platform you are playing this game on, relaunch the game. Then at the top left corner here, it's going to say installing shaders, let it install it, let it finish, then jump into a game. Try out the settings that you'd applied now for this game. Okay, if it runs perfectly fine, make sure to smash the like button, leave a comment down below and leave some feedback on what settings you're running with your machine so we can just communicate in general as a community it means a lot to me it really does and make sure like i said smash the motherfucking like button leave a comment down below and as always ladies and gentlemen i'll be here to help you guys out as best i can as always sorry i have been busy so yeah but i will be making a warzone video very very soon for you guys as soon as possible i will be doing one of those as always hope you enjoyed this video and peace